Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a cleanup around my house because it is still locked down here in Melbourne so it just kind of got me thinking while I have a little bit of time at home I want to make sure I am making the most of decluttering some spaces that have just always been quite messy. So today I want to tackle some bathroom storage and I just needed to have a little bit of a think about how I would do it and how best it would work for me because I've been scrolling through Pinterest boards and finding a little bit of inspiration here and there but it really it just boils down to what's going to work for you and how you personally use the space so that's kind of how I would approach it at work we kind of liaise with the client and check what their kind of lifestyle and needs are going to be so treating myself as a little bit of a client today and I have been to Kmart uh, well I ordered online actually because I wasn't sure if the store would be open so saved me a trip anyway because I got my items delivered so I have a little mini haul to show you and then I'm going to get into getting onto that space and I'm sorry if you can hear any noise but my dishwasher is on and I have no idea like how loud it is so sorry about that but first of all actually it's on an unrelated note because it is winter um, I do have something really kind of cool to show you that I found on the Kmart website so this one is a little gift for my partner because he has one of these at his place but it broke and that's just because we were literally using it 24 7 last year in winter sitting in front of it reading books so I got him a new one of these and it's the little oscillating fan heater from Kmart this was literally only $20, which is pretty great value. And it's 2000 watts. It's got overheating protection and it's got a bunch of little settings and things like that. And obviously a protective cover as well, so that it's not dangerous or anything. And yeah, I think he'll be stoked because he was really, really sad when his broke, but you know how guys are sometimes with those things and they just won't think to go to the shops and buy it themselves. So done him a favor and got him one instead. But then I really wanted one as well. But because my house is kind of more like aesthetically focused and I feel like I can't look at things like that because it's a little bit ugly, do you know what I mean? So I'm like, I want a heater for my space as well that I can sit in front of when I'm on the couch. And particularly so I don't have like the hot air con running because I feel like that is a massive waste of energy. So since it's just little old me here, I got myself a heater as well and I'll just grab it. So mine is the more aesthetic version. So if you're someone who definitely likes to look at nicer objects in your space, then I'd probably go for this one instead. So this is a ceramic heater though, and not a fan one. And I just thought it looked really cool. It kind of almost looks like a little speaker or something. So maybe I will take it out of the box and show you guys. Anyway, I think this one is super cute. It literally looks like a little speaker or something. And I thought that would be really great because again, it's kind of in a black and white tone and that really matches in with a lot of the decor in my house so it's kind of a really discreet way to have a heater that I don't have to try and shove away in a cupboard because I'm pretty tight on cupboard space anyway so I really like this I think it's very cute and I'm so looking forward to putting it on tonight because it is pretty cold here so that was a fun little find for winter um, I don't really know the difference between a ceramic and a fan heater I feel like you'd have to look that up if that's a concern to you but that one was only $29 Something else I quickly grabbed is a little card wallet and it's kind of in this really nice plum purple color, which obviously I'm really into at the moment because I'm kind of wearing an active wear set that's very similar. Um, but yeah, this one I just wanted because it also had a little zip that you can put some notes in and things like that. So that's going to be really handy for me because I just got a new phone case. So the details of this, if you're interested, it's kind of like a marble looking one. Um, that's in my favorites video, which will be the one before this, I think. Think. So I wanted that because my old phone case was a daily edited one and it had card slots on the back But it was kind of inconvenient because I could never place it down flat on a table and also do my um, Wireless charging and stuff. So now I've just got the two of these and again I'm trying to steer away from black colored things because I feel like I always lose them in the lining of my bag And then I get really stressed that I can't find my phone or my wallet or whatever So I've gone for a little bit of a different color and that will hopefully alleviate the problem and this this was literally only $5. So pretty stoked with that. Now for the bathroom storage. So I have a couple of slide out baskets and things in my bathroom cupboard at the moment. And I was thinking it would be better that instead of having to like pull the whole basket out and also 
they just look so messy because you can obviously see in and see everything that's in there I wanted something that was a little bit more of a better solution and I did see that they had um, like tub ones that you could kind of put the lid on maybe I'll just put a picture of those ones up here but I didn't really like them I thought they were a little bit ugly so I've gone with the stackable sliding shelf ones instead so this is literally called the stackable drawer. They're 14 centimeters high by 25 centimeters wide and 36 deep. So quite deep and that will take up most of the shelf space on that. And I got three of these in total because I do have a little bit of an other area in there where I want to be able to keep like makeup cases and my hair straightener and things like that. So I didn't want to put them in one of these, but I might change my mind once I've redone it and go back and get a fourth one. I'm just not sure yet, but this is really cool because like the drawer literally just slides out and it is opaque and also like a completely solid little thing. So just means that I'm going to be able to solve that problem of things looking really messy. And it's also going to inspire me to clean out all of the makeup and just random junk that's currently sitting in there now. So let's go and get straight into that. And I can do a little bit of a declutter of everything that's in my bathroom cupboard. Okay, so this is the current situation I'm dealing with and I want to put all of that into these three containers. So I think it will fit because those other baskets are a lot smaller and you can already see how much of a neater and better solution the drawers are going to be to slip back into that bathroom cabinet. Okay, so this is all of the rubbish that I'm able to chuck out, which is the four old baskets and also a bunch of just wrappers and bits of junk and things and packaging and whatever that was in there. And I'm going to give my floor a vacuum, of course, because it's made a little mess now. And these are the three drawers, all stacked up neat and tidy. Of course, with these, they always come with the most annoying labels on here. So I do need to get some eucalyptus oil or something so I can remove that. So they're going to have to stay on there for now because, you know, they rip into a thousand pieces when you try and pull them off. And I've just got a couple of random miscellaneous items like some bath salts and things like that that just didn't fit in. So that's OK. I will get to those and I'll find a little home for them. But I just think this is such a great solution and it's made it so much easier for me to create a few different drawers. So one of them is kind of like dental and medical things and stuff like that. Another one is sanitary items, um, cotton pads, all of those tissues, that sort of stuff. And then the other one is kind of like a bunch of makeup and body products and things like that. So I'm really, really happy with this solution. And now I'm just going to go and pop them back into the bathroom cabinet. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this quick little bathroom declutter. It definitely helped me reorganize things, throw out a bunch of old stuff that I didn't even know was hiding in those containers. And it is just so much tidier in there now. I definitely could go through it all again, but I feel like these things take a couple of goes before you kind of get it all right. So that's a really good first pass to just feel like everything is so much more organized and decluttered, but I will probably revisit that at some stage. And 
and I do need to take those stupid labels off because that is very frustrating seeing them still stuck on the front of those uh, boxes. So I'm sorry about that if that's really annoying, but I will get around to it. I just need to get back to work for the rest of today. So that's all I've got time for. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.